This Good Morning Northwest Morning Sprint is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. It is 6.53 on the dot. Time to get you ready to take on your Monday with the Morning Sprint. Mark Peterson telling us about some colder, cooler temperatures to start off the week. But let's get to Sydney Charles with details on protests in Georgia that led to the arrest of six people, including a Spokane woman. That Spokane woman has been arrested and charged with domestic terrorism in relation to a series of protests in Atlanta that police say turned violent late Saturday evening. Hundreds of demonstrators were peacefully protesting the death of an environmental activist and plans to build a new police training center. Then late Saturday, authorities say a group wearing masks grew violent, throwing rocks and damaging at least three businesses. Police took six individuals into custody on Saturday night, including Madeline Fiola, a 22-year-old woman from Spokane. Charges for the group were released Sunday evening. Each person faces four felony charges. In our first alert weather, and that first alert weather app still free, still available in the App Store, uh, you would see the fact that we do have some snow that's inbound. Looks to be happening about 8 o'clock this morning, so just be prepared for that. It's not going to be a big hit, maybe half an inch in some places, and then it's going to move out. We'll see over the next 12 hours. Cloud cover for the most part. Temperatures are going to be warming up, but below average for our daytime high. We're going to see 32. That's going to happen about 3 o'clock. It's low 30s all afternoon. Deputies arrested a man they believe shot and killed a 37-year-old woman in East Wenatchee Saturday evening. That man is 27-year-old Dalton Scott Potter of Wenatchee. The people who reported the shooting said they saw a woman fall out of a car. It happened in this area, Badger Mountain Road. Deputies say the car stopped. And a man who was driving got out of the car and shot the woman multiple times. Potter's being held in the Chelan County Jail on multiple and uh, multiple charges, including attempted murder. A referee shortage nationwide is impacting local school districts. The Spokane Basketball Officials Organization says the number of available referees for games has decreased significantly, nearly in half because of the COVID-19 pandemic. The recruiting coordinator says despite the recent increase in pay for referees, the organization is still in desperate need of new recruits. The only requirement to apply is being at least 18 years old with a desire to learn. After training, applicants will be able to choose the games that work with their schedule. You can find the link for the online application in this story on KXLY.com. We have a road closure to tell you about this morning. Both the east and westbound off ramps to the Geiger Grove Road interchange will close tonight. Work is scheduled to begin at 7 tonight. It'll be completed by 6 tomorrow morning. Tax season is here, and while filing early can get you an earlier refund, the IRS stresses that you prioritize filing accurately. Some COVID-era tax rates are phasing out, and refunds are expected to be smaller this year for millions of Americans. For a smooth experience, make sure you take a look at tax credits you may qualify for and have everything you need to file a return. Filing an accurate tax return can help taxpayers avoid delays or later IRS notices. This can mean waiting to make sure you have accounted for all your income and have the related documents. IRS.gov has a lot of the same information you can get by calling them, so plan to visit the website for answers to common questions and to check the status of your refund. Lastly, refunds will almost always get to you quicker when you file electronically and choose direct deposit. Investigators are still searching for the motive of a gunman who killed multiple people in Monterey Park, California on Saturday night. That shooting left 10 people dead and several others injured. Police confirmed the suspect is 72-year-old Hu Kan Tran. Tran was found dead in a vehicle in a parking lot in Torrance. Police believe he shot himself. Tran opened fire inside the Star Ballroom dance studio in Monterey Park. Authorities say he then fled to another dance hall nearby. He was confronted by two people, including 26-year-old Brandon Say, who wrestled the firearm away before he could injure anyone else. What the hero who jumped into action is saying after the attack is coming up next on Good Morning America. The Spokane City Council is voting today to defer a landlord-tenant ordinance following the repair of a software glitch preventing City Council from providing virtual testimony. The city says landlord-tenant ordinance 36330 is designed to increase and improve rental housing inventory in Spokane, benefiting both tenants and landlords. The council will vote in a briefing session at 3.30 this afternoon. 
Well, the number of people getting respiratory viruses is trending down for the first time since September. The CDC says the number of emergency room visits for those three viruses combined, that's COVID, RSV, and flu, has dropped to the lowest level in three months, and the improvement is in all age groups. Flu hospitalizations dropped to one-fourth of its peak a month and a half ago, but the flu season is notoriously unpredictable and far from over. And we'll have more on this on our website, KXL.